It's time! I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Welcome on now, now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bulldog. Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, G.E. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. <laughs> oh, nice straight there by Lee. Going to the sidekick. Oh, slips the offering there and then rips back at the target. Boom! Big body kick. Superman punch now. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Keep your face covered. Drives the shin into the rim. Great body kick. Another big body kick lands. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Stay focused. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh. Nice job by him defensively there. 
powerful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Straight right is there. Lee gets caught by another straight punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Targeting the body with the kick now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice counter left hook. Stuff the takedown, no problem. The fighters separate. That kick blocked by Lee. Back kick there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Just missed with that right hand. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice punch from the clinch by Lee. Lands the side kick now. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Lee. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Under a minute now to go in this one. Nice crack there. Oh, good work with the jab there. Slip that one. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Wow, how about that? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, the high kick lands. Final seconds of the round. Well, nice job there to use his opponent's oh, offense against oh. him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Lee. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. Now you're doing awesome out there. All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Great job blocking that shot. And these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, which you got to play to the shot. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere, and he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in his performance. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Keep the pressure on. Everything's Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Clean with the right hook. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And that's been kicked out of home up top. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Nice body shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 90 seconds now to go in the round. High velocity elbow is blocked. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Hook to the head there by Lee. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one who caused all the action. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. 20 seconds left. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, oh nasty oh, cut there, oh, right oh, on the bridge of the oh. nose. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcomes. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, he continued. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Oh, landed some big shots, too. He rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go, you gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, good vision defensively. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. His body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, nice counter, yes. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent... Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Try to establish that jab. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. You know, I got to tell you, I'm not sure that his face could be much more swollen at this point in time. You got to raise that guard. You got to get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you got to forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep your elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face. Every time, you're going to just get more and more swollen. Uppercut from the champion. Hands oh my goodness! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Now working the body with the elbow. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know. Oh! Now he's back up. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Back and forth we go.
send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everything.